Have you ever seen this painting before? I would probably guess that you have. You know, when I was a kid, my grandmother had one of these same portraits hanging on the wall in her home. And I saw another one at church, and I've seen many others in various homes and churches over the years. Well, think about it. This was the only Jesus I ever saw when I was growing up. But it has troubled me as to why Western culture has taken hold of this portrait as though it was painted by Peter himself while Jesus posed. This is, by the way, the extraordinary masterpiece of art by Warner Salman, who painted it in 1940. Its official title is The Head of Christ, although many simply call it the Salman Head. Now, think about it. In the art depictions of Jesus in our Western culture, Jesus always has white skin and light brown hair. Is this really him? Is this really him? <laughs> Why has this portrait become the standard of Jesus for the past 81 years? You know, the Bible never gives us any details about his personal appearance. We don't know if he was short or tall, skinny or overweight, nor is there any reference to his skin color. We don't know the color of his eyes or the color of his hair either from reading the Bible. And I believe God intentionally left out these details in his word because it's just not important. The closest we can even get to a hint of his appearance is Isaiah 53 verse 2. Isaiah says Jesus pretty much looked like an ordinary guy. He said in that verse that there was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. Now, some other facts that we can glean from the Bible is that we know he was a Hebrew because you can trace the family tree all the way back to Abraham. We also know he was an Israelite, again, tracing his roots back to Judah, one of the 12 sons of Jacob, whose name was changed by God to Israel. We also know he was born and lived down his life in the Middle East. And these points now begin to present a picture of a man who would have medium brown skin, dark brown eyes, and dark brown, if not even black hair. And with all this evidence, I can assure you, it is highly unlikely that Jesus was a white man like me. Now, if all this is true, then why did Mr. Solomon paint Jesus this way? And why do we as Americans always see him as a white man? Now, remember I told you this was the only Jesus I ever saw growing up as a kid. Well, then you can imagine my surprise when I did some missionary work in Mexico and saw him in a portrait as a Hispanic. And when I served as a missionary in Africa, I often saw portraits of Jesus as a black man. Asians will portray him with their distinct features because I think we try to make Jesus into the closest portrait of who we are. And I think that perhaps helps us to relate to him better. We tend to see him being like the people with which we identify in our own culture. And I hope you know there's absolutely nothing wrong in doing that. The problem begins when we insist on saying, this is what he looked like. Well then, this portrait becomes an idol. Now, don't misread me here. Uh, it's not a sin to have this portrait in your home if you have one, because it helps you identify with Jesus as a man. And you're free to imagine Jesus any way you want, but the true beauty of Jesus is that he's the savior of all people, regardless of skin color, race, or ethnicity. His love far transcends skin color issues and, and ancestry or culture. If the Bible described Jesus as having blonde hair and blue eyes, then I can assure you by our human nature, we would favor those with blonde hair and blue eyes. We would probably say they're closer to God than the rest of us. And thank God that's not true. The fact that the Bible gives no indication of his physical traits gives us the freedom to imagine him in a way that is unique to each of us. That helps me to see him as a man just like me. 
Now, please don't start an argument about this. I hear some of my African-American brethren uh, saying, you know, he's been white all these years and it's time to change that. Personally, I don't care if Jesus had green skin covered in bright pink spots. Who cares? Whatever his physical appearance was on earth has no bearing whatsoever in view of eternity. I don't love him more because I grew up with this particular portrait. I love him simply for being my savior and giving me eternal life. That is enough. Hey, listen, friend, thanks again for listening to me. And as always, may God richly bless you as you serve him for who he is and not for his appearance.